Okay, here I am again, and uh, this time what I'm going to do here with this one is just improve the tonal quality of a photograph. In fact, this photograph nearly got chucked out because it was so dark and really, you know, it's not doing very much for me. So what I'm going to do with it, uh, first of all, is uh, adjust, uh, sorry, image, edit, uh, edit, copy, uh, let it do its thing, edit, paste as new image. So there's a copy of it, and I'm just going to minimize that. So we've got a copy of the original state. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a very, very radical uh, look at it. It's very dark, very dark in here. You cannot see anything really that's going on. I like the sky, but it could be a lot better. The grass, nice expanse of grass. So look at this. Clarify. And I'm racked it right up to 20. And almost immediately you've got a marvellous look and feel to that. Okay, so I'm going to accept that. Now, the next thing is if I stick a photo effect filter on top of that, it'll just pick out the colours in the sky in the building and the, the, the brownie colours in the building and just improve the tonal quality on the grass. You can actually now see the stripes where they've mown the lawn and that's how impressive this is. Um, so I'm going to accept that. Now the other thing is it's just a little bit dark in that uh, place as well in, in this doorway here. So I'm going to use Smart Photo Fix. Now what it'll do is it'll actually overdo it uh, so as you can see, uh, so what I need to do is I'll get that slider here and make it darker again. And it's going to go back roughly to where it was. And what I'm going to be interested in is this slider here, the shadow slider. I'm going to increase that up. So if we watch those shadows, you can see that the shadow area is starting to get brighter. I'm going to knock back the highlights. That'll deal with the sky, make it a little bit darker in there, and a little bit more on those shadows. And yeah, I think that's probably all right. right. And just pick that up just a slight touch, and click OK. So if we go and look at both of these uh, tile vertically. there we can see both images side by side one was about to be chucked out and the other has become pretty neat now uh, in the next one what I'll do is I'll actually look at uh, how we can actually just do some more painterly styles with this and actually take that second photograph just that stage further